you have used scrolls and fixed yes so i hate scrolls and fixed but anyway you can use it so if i'm not using scrolls and fit can we do this with constraints uh... yeah happily why not acha okay take the same screen hmm i am going and saying uh, scroll with pair and scroll with pair so this also is scroll with pair frame 7 also scroll with pair okay hmm this content is there no this content is having all these fields right i'll create one more group on top of it i'll make it as a frame i'll put that over here ha hmm. right now this i'll call it as scroll group and okay. for this i will give overflow behavior as vertical okay right hmm. so see scrolling the same thing i achieved through this hmm. this is more scalable for me i don't know why i got I'm probably i'm by uh see you did this right mm hmm mm hmm so you kept this as fixed and all ha for me yeah now i know why this one will not support auto layout overall this continue mm -hmm. cannot be in auto layout so your whole page is not in auto layout mm -hmm. yes the moment you put everything in auto layout things will jumble what happened see frame 7 had to be figma automatically made this as absolute position mm -hmm. because it was like stick to bottom yeah yeah mm -hmm. right so what i should do is if i give auto layout here see everything worked hmm. all of them are zero it worked obviously health details i need Hi. i have put this as a frame probably auto layout and you fill container and give then you can give left pad done correct 16 only no what is that you have given padding i'm assuming it's 16 yeah So sixteen padding is there for this also. Hmm. Hmm. So device component, this one. So the entire auto layout is giving six value. So let's make it zero. And where do you need spacing? There we'll have to give spacing. So where is your original? First, I have to remove auto layout here. So these two are fixed. So I'll give one more auto layout for this. Okay. Hmm. So that is zero. We'll call this as header. Uh, details are also going inside the header, correct? Hmm. Yeah, so this is all going under the header. Then this comes this section, scroll group, and then this comes as footer. That's it. Now this is scalable because now I can control the size. Hmm. Perfect. Now if I have a longer screen. Huh. what i can do is i can put this header i can make this auto layout in such a way that this is fixed this is fixed but this is fill container now see what will happen if i change 800 uh -huh. it will stick see? at bottom uh -huh. base is my screen size automatically it will behave so we have to give bottom padding in this entire frame so that it will scroll and the last field is also visible what i have done na like i here have come not, yeah simple see let us say here there is no padding here therefore it looks very a scroll group there's no padding here no on top <laughs> you have given 200 ha ha because what's happening is when i'm scrolling it is it is showing this much that's why i was like why why is it having this much uh like right? if you go to this general detail screen uh here yeah ha huh. so if you prototype this there are two drop drop down menus accordions so like when i'm scrolling this the last option is was not visible that is why i've given bottom padding is as 200 or something simple so basically in scrolls 110 ha huh. because my last option was not visible so i had to do something this 24 we have, we have just made this right mm -hmm. okay scroll group is there inside that there is this content probably i'll just uh you know type i, I will add a few fields here okay okay 
gender and marital status i'm adding here hmm okay i've added so these fields have become longer now okay hmm whole thing is a scroll thing it's perfectly ending here see ha huh. it's ending here i don't want it like that i want some 16 padding to be there so i go to this content and give bottom and top 16 hmm now you see now if you go down, see here of 16 is coming nicely yes yes the scrolling and here also ah. nice thing here ah okay so define the auto layout in a nice manner hmm. i've given the nice padding inside it it will behave so hmm. if you want this also to behave in that particular manner let's i'm just going to make it zero for now okay let's see hmm. what will happen here I have gender, marital status. Both are open. Huh. Huh. This is happening. Others. This is happening, right? Huh. Let's see what is happening here. Why? So, huh? That's because your frame is basically stopping at the end of the screen, and this is sticky. This frame, you kept this as sticky. The bottom frame, yes, huh? Ah, uh, and this frame. is literally expanding there is no other scroll group acha hmm it is crawling this it's whole frame and the bottom frame is overlapping that extra screen. area hmm the whole yeah the mistake Haan. is simple this one is overlapping on is crawling on the entire screen ha on the entire screen this is overlapping hmm for example if i hide this you will see that it will scroll see hmm because this is scrolling on the entire screen itself so how do you fix this it should not scroll on the entire screen make another frame make this frame come only until here for that you give overflow as vertical scroll okay right ha huh. now see so okay hmm got it because the frame which is controlling the scroll is now well above the continue button hmm and that frame is scrollable now yes that is why right but right. i like what you did in that there in that this is my way this is like ah. perfect perfection this is you have auto layout everything like i can hmm. i see resize i can scale it i can do whatever i want and it works perfectly yeah. it works hmm Let's see, literally behaving like how it should behave. Yes. This one you will be scared to resize. The problem, see, look at this. The scroll group is not changing accordingly. Hmm. Now, what did I do previously? I kept this scroll group exactly on top of continue, but that's hmm. not following my screen size because the overall screen is not in auto layout to auto start. Layout. Here, the entire screen is in auto layout, hmm. so it listens to me. Hmm. But yeah, awesome. <laughs>